guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Construction Simulator. And always don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, leave comments. I always love hearing from you guys. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for this many more videos. I don't know why I said it so sultry like. I was like, please. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Let's just forget that ever happened, okay? Um, so we are picking up from where we left off in the last episode. We're only 20% complete with this project. Um, I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those projects we get done by the end of this episode or if it moves on into a third episode. I don't know. I'm kind of wishing I had done that that office building, the airport office complex or something like that. Let's see if we even have it. Uh, yeah, this one right here. So that's the one I want to do next. So I'm hoping that it'll still be here or still be available when we get this one done. But, we'll, oh, we'll just have to wait and see. Clear the marked area. Okay, so I need pallets of metal elements. Let's get this one out. So everything else is pallets of metal elements. Um, so these are basically, it looks like, just all the wall and roof panels. So we get that there. So yeah, I was going to record yesterday, and I I just didn't. Plus, we had cr like crazy thunderstorms like yesterday and overnight last night, going into this Friday morning, and um, and it's Friday now. What is today's date? The twenty eighth of June. Yeah, Friday, July. No, July, not June. Yeah, uh, Friday, July twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. Um, yeah, it was just absolutely nuts. And then I, the other problem was I laid down to take a nap and I think I woke up at 1 a.m. And, and, and I, you know, I had laid down at like 6.30 or 7 and I'm like, I'm going to take a nap for like an hour. And then, yeah, no. Um, wait a sec. Okay, there's one down here. Okay, so then we've got three more. Looks like there's going to be a pallet each for those three pads over there. Um, yeah, like yesterday, like late afternoon, I was on Star Citizen um, doing some testing, and I had just kind of wrapped things up with that, and I'm like, I am going to... Well, actually, I think I heard the rain. I think I heard it raining like crazy. And I'm like, I need to go outside and see what's going on, see how hard it's raining. And plus, I had heard thunder. And I'd probably seen a few, you know, flashes of light in the window, even though, you know, it's still daytime. And so I, I go outside. Well, I, I go to walk out on my deck. And as soon as I opened up the door, it was like a flash bulb went off in my in my face, and it was like immediately followed by a super loud thunder crack. So, I mean, it had to have been within a hundred yards or hundred meters. Yards and meters are fairly close, so I'll just use the two interchangeably. Um, all right, so that's all good. I can probably get rid of this because I doubt that we're going to have more cement and whatnot or concrete. 
But yeah, it was freaking loud. And we had a few few more really super loud thunderclaps. Um, like during the evening and overnight. And um, I think actually one of our community buildings got hit by lightning because they were saying that like all of the electronic uh, locks are not working. So these are just kind of like, I don't know what these are supposed to be. All right, so now we, <clears throat> we've got 12 of these pillars to install. So I guess we'll get started on that. We are going to be going into the nighttime here momentarily. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's get one more and then we'll do our coffee break. All right, let's jump out. We're gonna do our coffee break till morning. And we'll jump right in and go. Okay, six more to go. Yeah, I remember last night I was laying down to go to sleep. And I'm like, la la la, I'm falling asleep. Sweet dreams, la la la. You know, wonderful thoughts, ha ha ha. And, um, you know, and, and there were still some rumbles of thunder. Um, but it was all like getting, you know, softer and softer, you know, because it was off in the distance. And I'm just like, oh, I'm finally going to be able to sleep. And then <laughs> it was like, it was so, br okay. So I have shades in my bedroom. They're like blackout shades. And, and during the daylight, it is, it's dark enough in my room that if I really want to see anything, in my bedroom, I have to turn the lights on. There's a little bit of light, you know, enough light to navigate around, but 
if I'm going to be doing stuff in my bedroom, I've got to turn the lights on. Now, I had my eyes closed, and the flash was so bright, it was like... It was like someone with a camera flash, like, took a picture in my... Or, like, you know, somebody set a camera flash off in my room. I don't want to, you know, say that somebody was taking a picture. I mean, that could happen all the time. It probably doesn't, but... <laughs> guess it's terrible. That definitely does not happen. But, yeah, it was that bright that I... It was like, you know, if you've ever had your eyes closed and a camera flash has gone off then you'll probably know roughly what I'm talking about and then it was immediately followed by a gigantic explosion of thunder <laughs> and it shook the whole house so it was really close too but we had like three maybe four like really close you know thunderclaps like that And so, yeah, I guess nobody could get into the pool today because it's all electronic. Like we have like these little key fob things. And so, um, you know, they're, the community is tracking us. Okay, three out of six, three more to go. And then I guess we have to put the walls on again. So annoying. All right, so now we've got to unpack these. So these are going to be all the wall frames, I'm assuming. Okay. Up, 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 up. Okay. So I guess there's only three or no, four of those foam packages. I wonder if these we're going to have to unpack and then 
Or if they're just gonna like appear on each of those little buildings. We'll find out here in just a moment, maybe. Maybe. Unpack, okay. Where am I? There we are. Oh, great. No roof segments. Okay. All right, so now we got to make some sandwiches. Now this one, I think we have to put like way up here. Yep. Number three. Now we're up to fifty four percent complete. I feel like I'm like somebody put how how many minutes we've been recording because I feel like it's only been 15 minutes and um, I'm just curious. So somebody do that for me. Just like put in the comments like, you know, 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 17 or whatever. I want to know. Thank you for putting it backwards. You idiots! Okay, this is gonna be really weird. Actually, not so weird. Perfect. <laughs> I got a comment recently, and uh, they were like, does anybody only come here for the mom updates? <laughs> I was like, everybody comes for the moms. Moms is doing pretty good.
Though she's still not eating and drinking as I would like her to eat and drink, but you know, it's you know what it's like. This is gonna maybe sound funny, or hopefully this doesn't sound mean, but it it feels like trying to get a child to eat their vegetables, to get to get my mom to like eat or drink things. And um, <laughs> the doctor was telling her, you know, she needs to hydrate. She needs to get her electrolytes up. So she's like, I'll just get Gatorade. Where they have this stuff, and it's actually a lot of doctors recommend it. It's called Liquid IV. And it's basically an electrolyte, pow electrolyte powder that you mix in with your uh, water bottle, you know, into a water bottle. So she puts it into the water bottle. I'm not exactly sure how much of the mix you're supposed to mix with how much water. I think it's like 16 ounces. I think it's two cups, but it might be like 20 ounces. But she's always complaining that it's too sweet. And I'm like, yeah, but you're drinking like diet Pepsis and stuff like that, which I think tastes a lot sweeter or did I say Diet Pepsi? Diet Coke. My mom is not a Pepsi person. So I guess after this, we'll just put out the ceiling elements and we'll probably be done unless we have to pave a pave out a parking lot, which I, I can't remember if we did that in the last episode or not. I don't think we did. Or maybe we had to compact gravel. I don't know. It just seems like we didn't have to do that in the last episode. It was just like once we got the buildings done, we were done. Not in the last episode. Was it the last episode? Not the last episode, but like the last job. The the other storage buildings that you can see in the background there. Why does it say 18? Oh, because we've got the other side to do. That's that's right. But if it's just putting on all the ceiling elements, I think we'll get this episode or, you know, we'll get this job done in this episode. I feel like I'm a recognizer from Tron with one of these things. If you guys have seen the old Tron movie where they had those big gigantic things that would come down and smash you. <laughs> I think they were called recognizers. Boom. Oh man. Yeah, here we're working with an offset axis again, and it's really bonkers. Come on. Boom! Oh, that's so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I can see people that, you know, hate 
those types of con or these types of controls, yeah, that's totally gonna mess with them. Okay, last sighting piece. Boom. All right. And I, th I do think this, these are the last materials for the job, for the entire job. I think we went ahead and just bought all of them. I love how I say we bought. It's you and me, guys. Not I'm not like talking about myself in the third person. <clears throat> My pronouns are we, they. My pronoun is Bradicus Brad Muckasus, the most handsomest man in the universe. Brad Musicus? Is that what I said? I don't even know what the heck that's supposed to even mean. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, last one of these, and then we're going to have at least maybe 12, 13, 14, maybe 15 ceiling or, you know, roof elements. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to be putting roof elements on these little outbuildings here. We might not be. I don't know. That might be a third party contractor. Nope. 22? Oh my gosh. Boy, was I wrong. Wow, we're up to 69% done. I don't want to hear any snickles and snickers and giggles. Just like that, we were down to 18. Boop. All right. Oh, that was rough. Oh, gosh. I was not meaning for that to be as rough as it was.
Wait, are there 16 of these on here? I guess there must be. Honestly, I didn't think there were going to be that many. Okay, this is... I guess we've gotten 10 down. So 12 more to go. And we're halfway. 11 more to go. Yeah, I think they were saying that uh, we're also supposed to get more thunderstorms tonight. Always makes me a little bit scared. Eight more. No. Good enough. Seventy six per cent. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing a parking lot in here because of just how narrow it is in here. I could be wrong. <clears throat> but it just doesn't seem like we would be putting a parking lot in there. You know, digging out topsoil, all that fun stuff. No. Yes. All right. Four more, and we could be done. See, look, at we're, all, we're already up to 77% completion. So what are we going to do? Get up to 80 again, and then it's like, go talk to the site supervisor. I think that that's what's going to happen. I think that's exactly what's going to happen.
two more. Whoa. All right, last one. This could be the end. talking about there clear the construction site as I thought they need to fix that little bug too okay dismantle and clear the construction site of me and yep we are done speak with the foreman Storage units complete. I love how there's like, you know, women standing out there. It's like a really hip place. Um, let me in. I want to see my new storage units and all of their... Whatevers. Ooh, this is like a high security facility. Look, there's like women like hanging out back, having a grill out. Oh, there's an entrance there. I love how they have, like, high security entrance over here. And then just, like, a hole in the wall. <laughs> there's, like, Workout Dave there. All right. Nice. Can we look in there? Yeah, we can see the shelving units, I guess. Oh, gosh. Those interiors are awful. All right. Um, let's see what other jobs we have. So we got contracts and yeah, we've got the airport office building. I'm going to go, let's see, we're going to do high. And I just want to accept this while we are on this, this, uh, screen. Let's see, where is it going to be? I think it's going to be down here. Yep. Awesome. And we'll just set our crane back up. And looks like we're going to be digging in the next episode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the coffee break for right now. Uh, but I want to thank every one of you for joining me for yet another episode of Construction Simulator. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. I am Bradham73. Bye for now.